how to set up the rotisserie. I'm now going to show you how to use the rotisserie on the hub. It's incredibly simple. But what I've done here is I've actually still got some coals here that are warming up and they're starting to cook, but they're nowhere near as hot as they are here. The rotisserie itself is powered by a motor that's actually hidden in here. And this is the first barbecue, the only barbecue in the world that's managed to achieve this. So I pop this up. Okay, so now it's time to get the rod for the rotisserie. And I need a clip to secure the meat onto it. These two. These work very simply, it's just a clip. Like that. So now the meat, I'm using a leg of lamb that's been boned, seasoned and rolled. You can cook it bone in, you just have to be careful that when you feed it onto here, alongside the bone, you make sure that it sits evenly on the rod. Otherwise when it turns, it won't, you won't get an even cook. And then just slide this through. And then take the other one, pop that on. You don't really want to slide this straight into, deep into the meat, it'll squash it. So you only need to just apply enough pressure so you know that the meat is securely fastened. But just remember, it will shrink as it cooks a bit. There, that now, securely clamped. So then to put it onto the actual, onto the hub, lift this up, pop that into there, you can see the hole, it's a square hole, so it clamps in really nicely. And that is it. Shut that. So what you have to do now is just press this button next to the button that fires the hub up and that is it. So now, we'll just leave this turning. I've got really good heat here. In fact, I've created three different temperature zones for cooking. This is the hottest, as you can see, the coals are white. I've got some real, really nice, strong heat there. And then this area here is sort of, it's still taking heat from here, but it's more medium. And this is a cooler heat. In addition to that, these two pillars can be adjusted. You just twist them and they go down a notch. You've got three settings here and three settings here. So it really depends on what you want to do. You might want to brown the meat first or cook it gently first and brown it at the end of cooking. So this is basically ready. Uh, see, it's got some nice color on it. Personally, I'd like a little bit more. So now I'm just going to add, sprinkle a few of these on. They're maple wood chips. Just soak them, 20 minutes, half an hour. And I'm going to put them not in the middle because I don't want this, still want to keep the heat of the fire. So I'm just putting it around the outside. I just want this kind of little lick of smoke. I don't want it to be too strong, the smoky flavor. Now then, I'm going to move. I'm just going to pop this down to the middle setting. It's got three settings to it. This, this one as well. Now just when you're handling this, just Please be careful. This handle is fine, but the chances are this end of the, of the rod is going to be pretty damn hot, so use a cloth or a glove. Now you can see the smoke coming off, so this leg of lamb has been licked with the smoke. Now the flames are starting to come up because the fat's dripping off. Just going to baste it. I've made a brush from rosemary, and I've got a rosemary, lemon, garlic and chilli oil. Now this will, as the oil drips down onto the flames, you'll just, you get the fire now licking the meat, just to finish it off with that extra bit of charred, that char grilled flavour. It smells fantastic. That is now ready to serve. There is my spit roast barbecued, beautiful leg of lamb.